My brother took a shit in Haiti, and he completely missed the toilet. Like, <laughs> oh, it, was, God. It, was, it was so bad to the point, like, because we, we, we ate something called pate cordette. And it's like this, this Haitian patty with like beef and all this other shit in there. And it, like all of us get sick, apparently. So the day we were leaving, we came out the hotel. He's just like, Pascal, come here, look at this. And I'm just like, what, what? Come in the bathroom. And I'm just like, what's that smell? And then it's all on the ceiling. It's like, like on the ceiling. On the ceiling. <laughs> what? <laughs> He completely, he completely missed the entire toilet. How, how did he get the know. ceiling? <laughs> I have no clue. I, I, I don't know. To this day, I, I mean, did he know. press his ass cheeks up against the wall to like create like a seal, and then the resulting force made it shoot up and down? <laughs> <laughs> was there a point of impact, or was it just, just pressurized? I, I have no. It, it might have been pressurized shit. Like it might have been backed up for a couple of days. Uh. Well, isn't it, isn't, it, isn't it just the greatest feeling when you when you sit down to take a massive dump yes. and it all comes out at once? <laughs> yes. <Like, laughs> <laughs> Je Jenny's just standing there, like you know, kind of slightly moving her legs, like ooh, it's building up. She into her, Why the, would I ever at, do at, that? At, at, at the end of the day, she's like, oh, she tiptoes into the bathroom, sits down, and just, boom, it's all out in one go. And you just feel like you have, you've had a bit of yourself removed. You feel lighter. You feel empty inside. Uh, we're about to win. Oh, boy. Oh, no, we're losing. I work at Dollar General. And what I want to know is why people insist on shitting in the garbage cans. <laughs> you know, I've always wondered the same thing, because I work at Big Lots. I work at Big Lots, and I do shipping. And I remember one day I walked in. I walked in, ready to, you know, wash it a bit before I, you know, start handling the boxes. You know, employees got to wash their hands. And then there's shit in the urinal. Like, and I'm just like, not just, it's just like, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, there's a toilet. And there's shit in the toilet, too. So I guess somebody shit in the toilet, clogged it, then shit it in the urinal. People insist on shitting in the most inconvenient of places. I don't, well, I have to change that at the middle, you know, middle of the night. Yeah. I have to change that. And it's, we're not that busy. You know, we yeah. have maybe, the whole day we may have 20 people go in that bathroom. Maybe. Mm -hmm. well, 20 people shit in the garbage can. Oh, they just insist on, you know, there's a toilet right there. And they decide... I mean, it, it, I mean is it the one that, guy? It, in, in, my, in my case, I think the, the, the toilet was so clogged and fucked up that somebody was just like, man, I ain't going on that. <laughs> and they just went on the urinal to compensate. I mean, there's one, I feel there's so... One day. Okay, go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. I've had the floor for the last half hour. You go ahead. Okay, this... This little girl comes up and says, can I have the key to the boys' bathroom? So I figured she uh, had a brother or something. So I hand her the boys' bathroom key. And then that night I go to clean the men's bathroom. There's shit everywhere. Oh, man. And I mean, this came from like an eight-year-old girl. Good everywhere. God. Did she have Mexican? Well, like, like, did she uh, eat Mexican food? It's, it's, it's Possibility. It's it's to the point where the shit's crawling out of the bathroom like it's alive. Like help me, <laughs> <laughs> help me. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's everywhere. Well, okay. This 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 happened recently again, of course, and then, and then again in the bathroom. I work at a place called Cora's, and uh, you know how some people, uh, customers or whatever, will just steal things, but things that aren't of any relative importance. They just feel like hey 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 hey, I gotta take this. Someone's like gonna they'll get steal mad. Them, like, like they'll steal the sugar holder or some shit like that. Or... Yeah, yeah, something stupid like that. I went into again. I went to the bathroom, and every once in a while, I'll walk into the bathroom, and it won't smell like shit, but it'll smell of that like mixture of like cleaning agent and shit. And so, like <clears throat> about a month ago, we installed this um one of those automatic air fresheners because every once in a while, like one of the servers would have to come in with like a can of Febreze and that was the whole fucking thing. Just a guy's bathroom, by the way. 
uh, anyway. So we we decided we could save ourselves a lot of money by getting one of those automatic ones. So whenever somebody walks into the bathroom, it like you know, there's like a laser and it senses them, and so it squirts out this little thing of um, you know air freshener. I figured that was a smart idea and that was good. One month later, we go in to clean the bathrooms and it's not there. And by not there, I mean it's been ripped off the wall. Turns out what one of our customers that? decided to steal our automatic air freshener. They're probably gonna put it in their shower or some shit like that. Their bathroom. Or something. Maybe, but it's like, but that thing was like attached to the wallpaper, so it was a chunk of wallpaper missing. <laughs> it was like, hmm, I, I could use one of these. Yeah, <laughs> just like, and it, the thing is, the thing is not easily reachable too. It's like high, like right next to the ceiling. So somebody would have had to like climb on the on the on the on the sink counter, which is all of course, covered in water. And so I, I, I'm trying to imagine. If somebody was going to the bathroom that saw that, got up on the counter to go remove it, then either a CORE's staff member or another customer comes into the bathroom, they see this person on their knees on the wet sink counter trying to take this air freshener off the wall. Like, crazy shit happens at work. Crazy shit. Oh, yeah. Like, some things you can't explain. Now, for me, everything seems to happen in the ba either in the bathroom or the back lane. The back lane, some weird stuff has happened. Uh, UAV spotted. Uh, one time I was taking out the garbage, and uh, we uh, were, I don't know whether this meant anything or not, but we're right next to the uh, the Manitoba Humane Society. That's where, like, you know, lost uh, dogs and cats and animals and stuff go over, and, you know, you can, like, adopt them and shit. Yeah. But, uh, I don't, again, this may or may not tie into it or not, but it, it just, just felt kind of weird. I went to go throw the garbage once, and I go to the BFI, like, big blue bin in the back, and I got two uh, bags of garbage in each hand, and I look into the BFI, and... There are a bunch, like piles of bags that have been, look like they've been torn open by some animals, of goose carcasses. It's like, goose carcasses? Yeah, like goose, as in the bird. Wow. No, like, no, okay, no, no. And I, I'm not talking, I'm talking to your run of the mill goose, I'm talking like a Canadian goose, like, you know, the, the dark ones. And so if I wow. was to like, hazard a guess, I must have been like, Ten bags, one goose per bag, and and when I say carcass, I mean it looks like the thing had fucking been stripped and left to rot for about a week. Yeah. And like I have I, lots, I had, big lots while we're while, while we're like offloading and shit, we see foxes run out of run out of like out of the fucking because we work next to an airport. We see right. foxes dart like through the parking lot when we're fucking you know lift like offloading the trucks. We see foxes dart like by the trucks and shit. And we're just like, bro, I want one of those shits to bite me because that's some serious workers' comp. I'm getting paid if that shit bites my ass. <laughs> oh, that's, that's true. Go, I mean, Autumn. Go work with the foxes. <laughs> yeah, we got oh, she, she loves foxes. No, but like, you know, we... <laughs> oh, man. I work with some really weird people. Some really, 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 really weird people. You ever had to, you ever had to, to tell somebody to go home because they came to work like an hour late, complaining that they had pink eye in both eyes, and they were just clearly blitzed out of their mind. <laughs> I had, this, this was like three years ago. I had just started, and like I had, was only like a couple months in, and this guy Jordy comes in. He comes in like an hour late, and he's. He's got like bloodshot eyes, and then he he just yeah, smell, you know high. how you can and, and I I can smell it on him like it was obvious, but he comes up to me he's like I'm sorry I, I'm I, he couldn't he couldn't formulate a sentence I'm, like, I'm sorry I'm uh, oh, I'm sorry I'm uh, sorry late I had to go to the doctor I got like pink eye and, and I'm like in both your eyes he goes yeah it's pretty bad I'm like well then you probably shouldn't be here then you should be at home why didn't you call and he's like well. I um, had, you know, my uniform, and I'm like, Jordy, yeah, go home. And then, like, he was fired the next day. <laughs> but he, I'm like, Jordy, go home. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he just looked like he was just rammed through his fucking face. Like, he was gone. 